Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today's video is called Coping with PTSD. First off, let's define what PTSD actually is. PTSD stands for Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. This means you have to experience one or more traumatic events. It causes nightmares, flashbacks, anxiety, panic attacks, suicidal anger, depression and so many other symptoms. Before we get into this video properly and get into the coping mechanisms that I came up with, let's first talk about my trauma. I am someone who's been diagnosed with PTSD for seven years and I'm still working on that every day. I still have nightmares, I still have flashbacks, but I'm not doing trauma therapy. If you wanna know all about that, then head to this video here. So I was around six, seven years old when my mom was dating a guy the guy took me upstairs to his bedroom and did some sexual things to me. My mum found out and called the police. He was arrested. So that was the earliest trauma I experienced. Then, around that age, I was also being abused by my mum. And that went on until I was around 15, which is a long time when you think about it. But honestly, I... Uh, I've kind of got over that part of my trauma. Me and my mum get on amazingly now and wouldn't have it any other way. The next part of my trauma is when my ex-boyfriend of a year, during my first year of college, committed suicide in front of me with his last words being, this is because of you. And he jumped in front of a train that was coming onto the station. That affects me a lot especially when i'm getting on and off trains which is hard because i live in london and i have to get the underground everywhere so that's always fun i was around 18 and basically i went to a club and i got assaulted when i was 20 i was arrested and i was sexually assaulted then so that's just a bit of my story there's nothing detailed but i thought i'd share with you that i my trauma just because I want you to know we're in this together. Have you ever tried progressive muscle relaxation? It is amazing. The next one's gonna get me in trouble while I gotta say it. Mindfulness. Doing positive activities, like going for a walk, jog, run, exercise. Now, I don't exercise because of my arthritis and I wish I could, but I can. Identifying triggers. Now I want to talk about this one quickly. It's so important to identify what your triggers are because it then puts you in a position where you can avoid certain triggers or you can work on self-exposure therapy and expose yourself gradually to that trigger and then become desensitised from it. Identifying triggers is such an important thing to do if you want to recover from PTSD and I would recommend to everyone who has PTSD to try it out. Aromatherapy. I have a diffuser and I use lavender oil in it. Sometimes pink, sometimes grapefruit. I like both. Art therapy. So I've currently got this, this colouring book that is reverse. So the colours are on the page and you have to draw the outline. It's amazing. I will link it in the description down below. I think that was an amazing idea. Now for me, a distraction is putting on makeup, which as you can tell from today, I haven't done. I'm wearing my glasses because it at least looks so like something. Journaling. Now I, I bought a sketchbook the other day that I'm gonna use to do art and stuff in, but I'm gonna do it like a scrapbook. So it's gonna be a, a journey, a recovery journey book. Pets for PTSD. If you're allowed to have animals in your building, or you're a, wherever you live, look into getting this emotional support animal. And the last one is grounding techniques. So I showed this in yesterday's video, but I have these grounding cards. It just has a load of different grounding techniques. And I absolutely love this little thing that I have. And that's all I've got for this video. If you are new, subscribe, join the growing family, support me. If you'd like to support me more, you can become a Patreon, which is a monthly donation of $3 a month. Can be more, can be less. If you want to do a one-time donation, I have a PayPal account linked down below. So that's worth a look at. 
any money that you send to support me is massively appreciated and lastly turn notifications on and comment below some of your favorite coping skills thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video peace